What is up, Dream Media family? This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. If you guys aren't a subscriber already, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below and give me a big thumbs up on this video. Today I am out here doing a speaker shootout for you guys, but we are going to show you how to actually install these products in the wall at the same time. So if you guys are interested in you know, maybe you're shopping around for different brands. Uh, we're gonna be comparing here and doing a real life comparison of Focal, we're gonna have Episode, we're gonna have Martin Logan, and then Elac. All different options shoot, shot out right here. 16 total speakers. Today's model that we're gonna be installing is the IWV6, uh, sorry, IWV62W in wall speaker. These are $299 each retail. You guys know that we do ship throughout the entire nation and we have a preferred installer network that we are building throughout all the major cities if you do not want to DIY it. So this is the in-wall speaker template right here. And you can see they have actual size of speaker and then the actual size of the cutout hole. That's what we want, the actual size of the cutout hole. Okay. So I'm gonna tear that off, and this is gonna go on the wall in the location that we want to mount the speaker. And a couple tools that you're gonna need to get this done is a drywall saw. You can either do it automatic, like with one of these guys over here, or I'm just gonna kick it old school so that you guys can see the easiest way to get it done and cheapest way to get it done at home. These are like $5 at Home Depot. Very easy to do. And then you need a level. You want to make sure that it looks good. So we're going to put it on the wall like this and then we're going to stick the level on top like that. And then we are going to cut it. Well, sorry. And then <laughs> we're going to trace it like this. Okay. So now that it's traced out, we're going to go ahead and cut the hole. And just because we're at that home theater dude's house, I'm going to keep it clean, just like we do at all our customers. All right, guys, uh, did you see how I knocked in the saw right here and here and here all at the same time? The reason that I do that is because sometimes as you get cutting all the way around, you'll get down to this side and you'll punch it in and then it'll just break off a whole piece of the sheetrock, which can be annoying because then you got to go back and repair the wall. So a little pro tip for you. So now we got the sheetrock cut out, the drywall, we can put this aside. All right, guys, if you're not one to do it by hand and you want to speed up the process a little bit, you can definitely use power tools. Just be careful. If you don't work, if you don't work with these things every day, you can really jack up your walls. So I already done it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> be careful. <laughs> I feel like there should be a, a disclaimer here somewhere. <laughs> 
MTV does not accept videos submitted by their viewers. They, were not, they will not be opened or viewed. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that home theater dude really is doing some work. Ooh. See? See what we're talking about? You don't do this every day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. All right. <laughs> All right, guys. So I went ahead and cut both holes uh, just because we are going to be running pairs of speakers for these demos. Um, and I just, we put a little hole in the back and we're just shooting them right out the back side and pulling it over to uh, our termination point, which for this demo, all we're doing is just putting an ABR right here, over here on the ground. But I figured I'd show you guys the process. We're using a 12-2 heavy duty shielded wire, oxygen free. Um, if you guys would like to purchase wire for your home theater or your distributed audio system, ask our sales consultants about that as well. We offer every single thing that you need to complete the project, guys. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you how to strip down the wire. You put it in your wire cutter and cut it and then you're gonna go ahead and strip off the outer shielding like that and strip down the shielding on the two inner wires like that and now you're ready to go I go, I would recommend twisting the wires together just to keep it solid because these are individual strands and this is 12 2 wire we're using Okay guys, so we're gonna start out first with the standard installation speaker. We're gonna be using the ELAC. This is the V62 model, uh, the IW V62. And you can see over here, I've already installed one, but what I mean by standard is that it just has these dog ears on it that come out and clamp onto the sheetrock and you screw it in with a Phillips screwdriver. So I'm gonna start by just making my connections here on the back. Very simple, black to black, red to red. Now with a standard in-wall speaker installation, you do have to be careful not to snap off the ears on the back so with any of these models you are going to want a level it's important that you level the speaker so some speakers require a long travel for that screw to actually clamp the clamp to the sheetrock and some of them clip on really quick so you got to be careful all right guys i hope that you found this video informative and in helping you make a buying decision we have all the industry leading manufacturers to choose from and here he comes again that home theater dude <laughs> um we have all the industry leading manufacturers to choose from and we ship throughout the entire nation with a free consultation service. Our guys will create a package that fits your exact needs and budget. Just reach out and show your support. And if you don't want to install yourself, we have the installers that can put these into your wall for you, run all of the wiring and make sure that it's all calibrated and set up properly. So don't hesitate to reach out today, guys. We would love the opportunity to earn your business. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up and smash that subscribe button down below for more. Till next time, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching. Oh my gosh, is that the Dream Media van in my neighborhood? Whoa! Wait!